everybody. Today I want to show you how to make soil paint. This activity is from kidsgardening.org so I will be sure to put a link here so that you can follow along for the whole lesson plan. But what you'll need for today's activity is some soil, a strainer or in any plastic bag. You will need some sort of liquid glue. Mine is clear, but you can use the white stuff as well. You'll need a couple paint brushes and then a couple like older containers. I'm using yogurt cups and then some paper. So the first thing I did was I grabbed about one cup of soil from my garden. I probably won't need all of this, but this is enough to do a couple projects worth. And I got this over the weekend out of my garden and then I laid it out on a paper bag to dry out in the sun. You could leave it somewhere dry in your house for a couple days as well. The next thing is if you can pick out any big pieces, I've got a couple twigs in mine that I don't really want. That's not gonna make the best paint for me. We'll continue to sift it out. So I'm gonna put mine in a plastic bag. This is one way to kind of make sure I can crush it and get all these small pieces. Another way would be using a hammer or a mallet, any way to get your soil into lots of small pieces. I'm just going to continue crushing mine with my fingers and get as many small pieces as I can. And keep going. And then to make it even smaller, I'm using a strainer or a a sifter. If you don't have one of these, that's okay. You can still do this project without it. But I just want really fine pieces of soil. So I'm going to pour that in over an empty yogurt cup. And if you're doing this inside, you might want some newspaper to cover the table that you're working on so you don't make a big mess. But now you can see that I've got a bunch of really fine soil in here and some bigger pieces that I don't really want in my paint are left in the top. Since I'm outside, I'll just dump that out. Looks like I've got about two tablespoons of soil in here right now, and that should be enough for what I'm working on. Then I grab my glue, and I'm just gonna squeeze some in, and I'm trying to make a paste. Not too runny, but not too dry. I want it to actually kind of feel like I am painting with it instead of just spreading a really thick glue or that it's too runny and I can't control it. So I'm using a chopstick to mix mine. If you had a stick or an old paintbrush, that would also work. And right now it just looks like a bunch of clumps of soil. And that's not really great paint. So I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna add a little bit more glue. I'm just adding a little bit at a time because if I add too much, then I have to add more soil and then I get much more paint than I wanted to get. So I keep mixing it. Now it looks kind of like I have, I don't know, maybe cookie dough or brownie batter right now. It's starting to stick together, but if I tried to paint with this right now, it would be really, really hard. So I'm going to keep going. It looks like so far I've added about two tablespoons of my glue. So it's about equal parts glue and soil right now. And that's another note, we call it soil instead of dirt because soil has all of the living bacteria and microbes that help our plants grow. So it's really important to call it soil instead of dirt because dirt is dirty. And we don't really like to think about it that way. I like to think about it as things that give us food and it's really important for us. So I'm almost there with my paint. It's starting to look more liquid, more like a paste here, but I'm gonna just add a little bit more. I think one more squirt will do it for my paint. Okay, so I'm ready to give my paint a try. I'm gonna go ahead and get started painting. It's still pretty thick paint, so you gotta be careful. Make thin lines if you want. I'm just gonna start drawing. I was out in my garden this weekend and I noticed that the crocuses 
in my garden were starting to come up. They were usually some of the first flowers that I see, so I'm gonna go ahead and draw them with my paintbrush. I wonder what you would see in your garden or on a walk today. Maybe you will be able to paint it with your soil paint. Another really cool thing about this soil paint is that if you have different soil, you can have different colors. And so if you were to go on a walk, you could collect a couple different types of soil, or maybe in your garden you have some sandier soils and some clay soils, and those would all have different colors. And that would be a really cool way to have different colors in your drawing or in your painting. So I'm just going to finish up by drawing my one crocus here and I'll show it for you. So this is my crocus. You can draw anything you'd like to. You can use any different types of soil and they'll all come out a little bit different. I want to thank Kids Gardening for sharing this activity with me. I was so excited to give it a try when I was out in my garden this weekend. I hope you will give it a try as well. Have a great day.